Welcome back to another episode of Tech TLDR. I'm giving you another SN9 update today on their launch date and their static fire test. I also have some info from SpaceX regarding a recent mission that went well. So if you're interested in that, be sure to stick to this whole episode. But let's get into the reason why you clicked on the video, which is the launch date and the static fire test. So yesterday, January 13th, the SN9 underwent three static fire tests which would have been its second, third, and fourth test. If you don't remember last week, they also did a static fire test, but then they had to delay the launch. Now, as for the launch date, unfortunately, I don't think we're going to see it today, guys. I know I've been putting it off. I haven't been putting it off. SpaceX has, and I kind of kept having hope that we would have it the next day and the next day. We just had the static fire. I don't think we're going to have the launches today. If we go to the FAA's website, we can see they still have the clearance for the 14th today, January 14th. They also have it for the 15th and the 16th now as well. I've been on Twitter. I've been going through the locals and seeing what they're saying. There's no reports coming from them that any activity is happening today. Whenever anything happens from SpaceX, they get a notice in their mailbox or to the door essentially saying, hey, we're doing space testing today. We're doing a launch, so be careful. It's going to be loud. It could be dangerous, yada, yada. There's nothing like that coming from them, which... By this time today, they should have already gotten a notice, so I don't think today will be the day that we see it. However, possibly Friday, possibly Saturday. I think Friday might be a little more likely than Saturday. I'm hoping that Friday is the day because we've been waiting so long for this. If by Friday, it's going to be a whole week of postponing. Everybody wants to see this for the obvious reason that it's going to hopefully do the hot maneuver as well as land for the first time something the sn8 unfortunately couldn't do and the importance for this again is the sooner they can do this hop test and land it the sooner they can go about doing orbital tests and docking one another refuel one another elon musk on twitter seemed pretty happy about the static fires though he said there were no ruds which is a rapid unscheduled assembly which basically means explosions so he's glad that there were no explosions he seems pretty hopeful for this upcoming test, which is a good sign because I remember last time for the SN8, he was hopeful it would do the hop and the the whole belly flop type thing, but even he was saying that it most likely won't land. But now he's looking a little more optimistic about these things, so I'm hoping that he kind of knows that they have all systems in place and they think they've kind of found all the trouble that happened with the SN8, why they couldn't land it with this SN9. Really hoping they do. We don't want any more RUDs. The SN9 cannot be a RUD. I want to see the SN9 go up twice. That would be really nice if we could see an SN9 do a double launch before the SN10 even gets launched. Which I think at this point too, the SN10 through, I know 10 through 17 are being manufactured, but I think 10 through 12 are essentially done. I know the 10 has been done. I think the 11 just needed its nose cone. I'm sure by this point it already has that. So I wouldn't be surprised if as soon as the SN9 goes, they're going to have 10 and 11 ready to go. So if the SN9 completes the successful landing, we might see the SN10 and 11 or even the 9 be launched again to do two at once. We could see that, see how they operate and to be able to land both at once. That'd be really neat to see two starships land next to each other at the same time. Now, if that's all you wanted, you just want to hear the date and the schedule for all that stuff. Like I said, I'll keep you guys updated. SpaceX, they don't give any sort of concrete evidence on when they're going to do these things. So I'll keep you guys updated. But if that's all you wanted to know, by all means, you can leave the video. I understand. Smash the like button on your way out. Consider subscribing. But I have more info from SpaceX for some pretty good news. Now, if you don't remember, just earlier this week, their capsule detached from the ISS, and they confirmed it was a successful splashdown, and they were able to recover the cargo ship. Now, in that cargo supply, if you don't remember, the ISS has been testing essentially bacteria and germs in artificial environments, seeing what types of cleaners and disinfectants uh, kill them and how they react and why they survive and things like that. And it'll give a little more insight into the future of when we go to Mars or settle a base on the moon and understand what kind of microbes are going to be living on those surfaces, why they do it, and how can we prevent certain deadly germs from continuing to spread, continuing to thrive in these artificial environments. Because some things 
they do really well in these environments, better than they would in a natural environment. Certain category, certain things about within these, you know, pods is more favorable for their characteristics of the derm of the micro itself to actually do better, which is scary if it's something that can possibly harm humans. So this, there's believe there's over 5,000 pounds of between scientific research and supplies, things like that, that is going to give a lot of insight for NASA to debunk and kind of decode what's going on with these micros. And I wouldn't be surprised over the next few weeks that they give a little more insight as to what they've been finding and release more and more as they go along. So it's really exciting to see. Good to see that the SpaceX has been having success over the past few weeks. Obviously, they had the TurkSat satellite. They've had more contracts established for their Starlink program. So good news coming from SpaceX. And once they land this SN9, it's going to be even better. So that's all I have for you guys in this episode. If you liked what I'm putting out, by all means, hit the like button. Let me know in the comments. And be sure to subscribe to the channel because I'm going to have a ton more of this content coming out.